Today I go from Brandon the Frustrated Gamer to Brandon the Pet Surgeon. The world's worst pet surgeon. What is going on TFG Squad? My name is Brandon and welcome to Toka Pet Doctor. This is the game where I get to be a surgeon for pets and make them feel better. So we've got like a bird that is stuck to the wall. We've got a turtle that is upside down. There's like something wrong with this uh, yeah, maroon looking animal. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Let's start with the bird. Do I click? I don't know exactly. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it looks like a bird has stepped in a piece of bubble gum and for some reason, I need to save him. I feel like his owners probably could have just removed the bubble gum, but that's totally fine. So if I just pull the gum, pull the gum, look at that. Maybe I'm not the world's worst pet surgeon. Maybe I'm actually the world's best pet surgeon because I can remove a piece of bubble gum from the ground. By the way, if you guys want to see more fun mobile games like this on the channel, hit that like button and make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now. Okay, this game starts very easy and then gets harder and harder as it goes on. So what are we doing now? What are we doing I want to... Oh, I'm giving the little pet a little treat. Oh, yeah. Here, take this. It looks like it's like an apple slice or a, a lemon slice. Oh, he wants more. Oh, my man wants more. Okay. I save you from one piece of bubble gum, which you shouldn't have stepped in in the first place. And now you want all of my treats? Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. I did it. Okay. Now there's no longer a... Wait, what? Now the bird is, oh, now the bird's sleeping instead. Okay. I don't know why his owners didn't come and pick him up after he was saved, but that's totally fine. Also, here's another question. This plays into me being the world's worst pet surgeon. Why are all these pets in trouble in my office? Like that bird stepped on a piece of gum in my office. This turtle flipped himself upside down in my office. I feel like I'm the problem here. All right, let's fix this turtle. This one should be pretty easy. All I have to do is pick him up and flip him upside down. Okay. Again, I don't know if this makes me a pet surgeon, but at least I am helping these pets out. Okay, that was another easy one. Let's give this guy one flower and two flowers. And we will send him on his way. Thank you, Mr. Turtle. Oh, and every time I save them, then they take a nap in my office. Oh, so, oh, I can scroll around the office and see some of the other animals I'm going to be treating. What's wrong with this chicken? It looks like this chicken got hit in the head and has like a, a, a goose egg on its head. All right, let's, let's check out the chicken. What's going on, my man? What's go- Oh my goodness. Okay, that's a concussion. Yeah, that's what we call in the old country a concussion. All right, let's put a little ice on his head. Is that- Am I doing- Okay, okay, and- Oh, now I'm gonna wrap it. Now I'm wrapping it, wrapping it, wrapping it. Okay, there's no way that if you have a concussion- all you have to do is put a little ice on it for eight seconds and then wrap your head. That is not what you do. I think you're supposed to rest. You're supposed to, like, not get hit in the head for a couple weeks. I, I don't know. Again, I'm not a doctor. All right, this guy wants, like, all these seeds. Do I have to give him all of these? Okay, dude's gonna recover from his concussion and, and have a stomach explosion. This seems like a lot of seeds for one bird. It was like 14, 15 sunflower seeds for one bird. And is he going to be sleeping now? Okay, I'm not sure if he's sleeping or he is dead. Also, I don't think you're supposed to sleep after getting a concussion. That's like the one thing they say not to do. So, yeah, once again, world's worst pet surgeon. Okay, let's move over to this. Is that a worm or a snake? I'm not exactly sure if that is a worm or a snake, but it looks like my man has tied himself into a knot. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, he's angry too. Oh, he's an angry snake. Hey, 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 you're coming to me for me to help you. If you bite me, I am kicking you out of this office and I will never treat you again, okay? You better leave me alone, my man. You better leave me alone, my man. Oh, wow, that was even easier than the last level. Okay, so far this game is very easy. 
You guys told me the game gets harder and harder as I play, so I'm gonna trust you guys on that one. What is this? I don't know what the snake or worm is eating. It looked like a cookie or maybe an onion or maybe a, a seashell. I'm not exactly sure, but he's happy and now he's sleeping up there. Okay, what's wrong with this egg? What? It looks like there's like a chicken that's stuck in an egg. Um, I feel like he probably just hasn't hatched yet, right? Maybe we should let Mother Nature take over and just let this egg hatch naturally. I don't think you're supposed to, like, crack an egg if the thing's ready to hatch. That seems dangerous. Oh, all right. I'm doing it anyway. I am doing it anyway. I am manually hatching this egg. Oh, that's not a chicken egg. That is not a chicken egg. That is a snake egg. Oh, and now I'm feeding him flies. Okay, couldn't this dude, like, catch his own flies? I mean, he's long and has a, a very quick tongue. I feel like he could catch these tongues or these, uh, these flies on his own. But fine. I will manually feed you flies, and my man is now sleeping. So right now, we have this mouse who looks like he's got the bubble hiccups. You, you gotta hate when that happens, you know what I mean? You're eating something, and then you get the hiccups, and bubbles keep coming out of your mouth. Happens to me all the time. Okay, so we've got one guy there. We've got this sad-looking cat. We've got, again, I don't know what this maroon-colored animal is, but it looks like he's just got something stuck in his teeth. Maybe someone should introduce him to a dentist or just a, a, a toothbrush, for goodness sakes. We've got a, a cat over here, a fro- Oh, we've got a lot of things going on. We've got a lot of things going on over here. All right, let's fix the spider. I don't know what's wrong with the spider, but he looks like he's, like, going a little crazy right now. He's got eyes that are- Blinking, and I don't know if they should be blinking. Oh, we're giving him eye drops. Oh, he's got red eyes. Oh, I get it. I get it. So I'm putting these eye drops or glue. I'm not exactly, it kind of looks like a glue bottle to me, you know, like the, the little bottle of Elmer's glue that you used in elementary school. It's kind of what it looks like. I don't think you should put glue in your eyes if your eyes are red. It's probably going to make them more red, honestly. I'm going to assume these are eye drops, okay? And last one. Bam! Wait, don't spiders have eight, uh, eight eyes? Why does that one only have six? Oh, no, that's legs. That's legs. Yeah, that's eight legs. Okay, and this guy does have eight legs. Wow. Yes, I just said spiders have eight eyeballs. That was, that's my fault. I am a pet surgeon, not a pet expert. Although I feel like pet surgeons probably should be pet experts. You know what? That's totally fine. All right, here we go. Let's give the spider the fly. Dude's happy. He wasn't even greedy. He wasn't even greedy like the snake was earlier. He just wanted one fly, and he's happy as a clam. Or I guess happy as a spider, I guess I should say. All right, what is this thing? Is this like a dinosaur or a lizard? Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so this guy ate too many flies. See, this is what happens when you're greedy. You eat too many flies, and then I guess, you know what? Maybe he just forgot to chew. Maybe my man ate a fly whole and they stayed alive. I feel like if they just stay in your stomach long enough, they're going to die, but that's fine. So I am going to be extracting... Oh, I'm going to be extracting the flies from this lizard's stomach. And... Okay, dude's happy. Please don't tell me I have to give him more flies. Pl okay, okay, he's going to eat some normal. I was going to say, if this dude wants me to give him flies as a post-surgery snack... That would be very funny because then he would be right back in my office very quickly. Let's give him a carrot. Okay, we're going to give him a strawberry. And I'm assuming this is supposed to be an apple, but I've never seen a yellow apple. Uh, let me know in the comments. Have you guys ever bit into an apple and the inside is yellow? If you do, you should probably throw it away because it's probably rotten. But apparently this dude loves rotten uh, apples or maybe they're lemons. And there we go. Okay, dude no longer has flies flying around in his stomach. And he is, wow, he is out like a light. Dude is really sleeping. Time to treat the cute, adorable bunny rabbit. Oh, goodness gracious. Dude's got like wounds on his body. I don't know what's wrong with him. All right, here we go. Let's go band-aid. I think I need to put the correct band-aid on the correct bruise. This one looks like it goes right here. This cool space-themed band-aid goes here, and this green one goes here. I don't know if I made him better or worse, but he seems to be happy, and... Uh, all right. Dude wants some carrots. Come on, eat the carrot. 
Come on, you're a bunny rabbit. You're supposed to eat carrots in one bite. There we go. And apparently this rabbit likes eating sunflower seeds. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's half rabbit, half bird. I've never seen a rabbit eat sunflower seeds, but that's fine. Okay, I'm moving on to the disgusting looking toad. No offense to you, toad. No offense to you. I'm sure you're a very nice, uh, amphibian. I don't know what, I don't know what toads are. I'm just gonna call them an amphibian. Uh, what am I doing? I'm putting, like, cream on his stomach? Oh, my man's got a little acne. Oh, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So I'm just scrubbing his belly. He's got two more little spots right here. One down, one down, and... Okay! Frog's happy! Is he gonna get fl- Oh, butterflies! Wow! Stepping it up for Mr. Frog over here. Giving him some nice yellow butterflies to eat. Okay. Now the butterflies are gonna have to come into my office for being eaten by a frog. But that's- 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 That's next video coming up. Alright. We've got one butterfly, two butterfly. And my man is a happy sleeper. You guys know how much I love my cat, Roxy, so I gotta fix the cat. Oh, no! It looks like the cat might have gotten into, like, a little fight or something. He's got a cut on his ear. Oh, this one kind of looks bad, actually. So let's clean the wound. Clean, clean, clean. Beautiful. And... We're just gonna glue it back together, okay? <laughs> Either that or we're putting eye drops on his ear. Either way, this seems like a bad thing to do. Putting eye drops on a cut ear or just gluing it back together. Again, either way, I'm the world's worst pet surgeon. Uh, okay, they're, they're just magical skin healing drops. And now we're gonna put a car-themed band-aid on his ear. And look at that. Roxy the cat is so happy. And I'm gonna... Five fish? Okay. I feed my cat, Roxy, one little tiny can of food for dinner. This dude's eating five fish. I mean, those five fish have to weigh more than him. That would be like me eating 150 pounds of chicken. There's no... Well, this is ridiculous now, okay? I'm gonna be completely out of food because these, these animals keep taking advantage and, and eating all of my food. This is ridiculous. Four fish, five fish. He doesn't even look full. Is he gonna fall asleep? Yep. Fell asleep and is taking a cat nap. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs. And I will see all of you in the next video.